It is starting to rain whew, pretty hard and the wind has not really picked up quite that much yet. I'm trying Damn. to focus in on that tree right there so you guys can see how windy it is, but it's not really that windy yet. Here comes a band now. You can kind of hear it. But again, it's more of just rain and not so much of I am really sorry for the um the fuzzy lens I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can fix it but there really is not a whole lot to see and by the time that this storm really starts moving through it's gonna be pitch black outside Except for that street lamp, unless we lose power, then that street lamp is going out. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to record whatever I can for you guys without putting myself in any kind of danger or anything like that. But uh, if I can get some video of some of the high gust winds of showing you like some trees or something, then I will. But I'm definitely not going to go out in a rain suit and get all wet so uh, sorry about that but i will keep you guys updated and again i'm really sorry for this very dark trying to get in some light here but it is not working at all make it a little bit better ah, that's a little bit better i will try to get in some video for you guys if i can and if i can't i apologize but um safety first you know and um all the animals are doing fine and everybody's protected except for the peeking ducks who will not go under shelter. Hopefully if the wind starts picking up, they'll go under some shelter somewhere. But for right now, they're enjoying the rain, which crazy ducks, I tell you. Um, but we'll keep an eye on them and make sure that everybody's fine. And again, like I said, we'll keep you guys updated on what's going on here at the home front. Hey friends, good morning. It is 7.30 here, although it looks pretty dark out still. I just woke up. It has been a really, really long night. Um, I didn't get much sleep until that storm kind of passed over. Went to sleep, woke up, went to sleep, woke up. Um, it, we did pretty well. I don't see anything that like blew away or broke roof looks good everything seems to be all right all the animals seem to be doing good here's olive and hope they're doing good all, my chickens are all the chickens all are out oh shoot Oh, I guess they are, aren't they? How'd that happen? Oh, the, the door swung up then. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, all of the hens came out of the chicken coop that was back there. 
we forgot to fasten that one closed. Um, that one's spring loaded. So, yeah, there's that. That's okay. We'll, we'll catch them and get them back in there. Not right now, but we'll get it. <laughs> we'll get it done. Hey, Hope. Hi, baby. Hi, babe. Antonio. <sighs> I want to say it was probably like around um, maybe 7.30, 8 o'clock. All the goats that were over here, the, the females, they were crying a lot. Ladies breaking up the duck and the rooster. Good job, lady. Um, anyways, the goats were making a lot of noise. And the issue was there was flooding. Um, we know, and if, if you guys are new to our channel, I'll just recap really quick. When we built that shelter back there, um, we honestly did not think it through clearly. And, you know, when people talk about, um, you know, live in your area for a while, really see how the weather affects things and stuff like that, uh, that is a very important thing. But, unfortunately, when we built that down there, we were more concerned that we had to get something up quick. Um, and we put it in the absolute worst area. It floods so bad down there in that corner and uh yeah so it flooded so like i was saying antonio went um he went out there last night and dug a hole towards the back wall to let all the water drain out now they're all coming out of there right now um I mean, I guess we can for a little bit. Yeah, help them, help them eat down that grass a little. Oh goodness, she's gonna try to eat all their food. Hey Zeke, you're not trying to go in to get food. Now that's odd. That's really odd. He's always the first one to get food. So that's kind of ironic. Weird. Lady. For a second, I thought you were Sergeant. Is that funny or what? You must be slimming down. You are kind of. Kind of. <laughs> I really thought this was Sergeant and I didn't know how he got out. Lady hasn't been in here in a while. So, I'm sorry guys. I'm tired. I am so stinking exhausted. Um, yeah, back to the farm, the structures, everything is good. We did really, really well. I'm really happy. Um, the winds were strong. I heard a lot of clanking noises. Um, in my bedroom, the kids were in the bed with me. Uh, just there was a lot of loud metal clanking noises, but I already know. Anyways, I, I'm assuming I know. Um, some of that clanking noise could have been this right here. This. Makes a lot of clanking noise. And, um, that's actually, that's probably what it was. I see that this thing blew over. This is just a, um, a, a, the soccer, a soccer net. We got roosters fighting. Everybody's a little wound up, it seems like. A little extra this morning. A little extra. Have you checked on the chickens in the, the trailer? Things good over here. I thought that it was 
this over here that was making clanking noises. Let me see. Could it have been? Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, it's supposed to be like that. So, it could have been that. That was making clanking noises. Very possible. What is that there? Let's see. Vehicles seem okay. His truck is fine. Let's go check on these chickens over here. Give them some daylight. Hey guys. Where are you? There it is. I don't know if it's a girl or boy, so there it is. You doing all right? Come here. Yeah, they do. No, my poor baby. It's all right. Yeah, I know my fingers taste delicious. But everything seems fine. I don't see any down tree limbs. Yeah, everything seems pretty good over here, guys. Everything looks good. Antonio looks like he's taking the, yep, yeah, he's taking off the, um, he, he put doors. We had some extra doors laying around, so he put the doors up there to protect the window, to block anything. Um, you know, it's always better to be safe than sorry. And, uh, it, the winds didn't come through nearly as strong as what they were saying, but, yeah, uh, luckily it moved. So, we were in direct path for a very long time, and then it shifted to the east a little bit. So, because of that shift, it really helped us out. And you know what? I'm, I'm a huge believer in prayer, and I've asked... Tons of people to pray for us, and um, whether on Facebook and also, you know, on on YouTube here, I've asked you guys to please pray for us. Sorry, I don't know why it went dark. Um, I've asked you guys to pray, and you know, I believe in the power of prayer. I know God is. Um, I know God doesn't lie, and God says to abide in Him, trust in Him. And, you know, ask him. And he also says that we have power to control the weather. So, you know, if you're praying those those prayers of protection, um, you can protect yourself. And I believe that because everything shifted and uh, we're doing we're doing great. We didn't even lose power. Not even a little bit. I think it might have flickered one time. But we did not lose power. So that's awesome. Let's take a look at Sergeant really quick. Since I know some people were concerned about Sergeant being left outdoors. But he's amazing. Hey Sergeant. How'd you do last night? <laughs> you doing alright buddy? Are you a happy dog? Are you a happy dog? Who's a happy dog? Who's a happy dog? How you doing, buddy? I think Sergeant did just fine. He's smart. He knows what to do. He knows what to do. Y'all, I am feeling incredibly, incredibly grateful today. As I come outside and hang with all the the chickens and roosters and um, the skull right here. What was that? Oh, she's going to push me over. She's rubbing on me. Silly girl. Um, you know, it could have been a lot, a lot worse than it was. And, um, just super super grateful that everybody is doing okay and uh, yeah wild night I will say 
the storm came through oh it was like between like 12 and um, I want to say like 2 30 in the morning so it was challenging trying to stay awake and then going to sleep popping awake going to sleep because of all the noise it was very loud and like I told you guys that clanking noise that was coming from either the house or um, the chicken coop I don't really know where it was coming from probably both places to be honest with you but that noise was just between the sound of the the wind and rain hitting the windows and the the sound of all the clanking it was it was something but I have gone through um, Francis and Jean in South Florida and that came through I believe as a, a category three hurricane and that was a lot that was that was a scary moment and this did not compare to that at all this was so mild compared to that so we're very grateful because I know it was supposed to come in a lot stronger um, but we were blessed we were definitely definitely blessed I found the peahen and she still has her three little chickies so they're doing good they're all doing really good and I'm, I'm very happy to see that she was hiding a little bit this morning look at them they're so cute they are so cute and they seem to be faring well and both peacocks are right here with her they don't seem to bother the pea chicks so that's good And Daisy's right here as well. And the calf was here. Oh, there she is. She's laying in the grass. There she is. That little booger. So she's doing well also. Look at all these loose chickens. Goodness. So here's another one of the chickens and there's a few of them right there you can see these are the girls that you guys don't see that often because they're always in the coop beep 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 look here they come they understand the language that's for sure <laughs> You're good girls. Hopefully we'll get them back in their coop today. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. How you doing, Daisy? Hey, Daisy Mama. Oh my gosh. You've got some flies on you. Ooh. Get those flies. Oh, did you guys see that horse fly? Wow. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it, Daisy. Look at that. Oh, I got it. I got him, Daisy. I got him. Good girl. Yo, look at the size of this horse fly. Hold on. Let me step on it first. Make sure it's dead. Oh, my heavens. Look at that. Look at that, look, look. That's how big that guy was. I got him, girl. Yes. <gasps> There's another one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get it. Daisy, let me help you. Let me help <gasps> Holy. I know he's gonna come back. We'll keep an eye on him. As y'all can see, it is really breezy out. Hopefully my volume doesn't get distorted because whenever it's really breezy, my volume really likes to pick that up. Oh, it is nice out though. It is so nice. 
it is I want to say it's like 74 degrees somewhere around there and this breeze is just absolutely phenomenal they're getting big Uh-oh, better go follow mama. I'm inside the chicken coop. I just wanted to see how it is in here. And it's it's wet, for sure. It did get a little bit soggy in here. But um, you can see all that water that's right there. That's not where water is supposed to be. Water is in there. So a lot of rain definitely did come in. I wonder if they all kind of trooped together. This is spring, as you get, listen, like that is a pretty hard spring loaded door. The chickens definitely can't open it. Um, here's the spring right up there on the top. And that is one super strong spring, let me tell you. But um, yeah, that wind, see right here, there's a latch like that but somebody did not latch it because they weren't thinking uh that somebody is not me <laughs> but that's okay it happens now we just have to figure out how we're gonna get all the chickens back in here that's all um we got them in there the first time i'm sure we'll be able to do it again times like this i really wish we had a side by side so i can go drive through the pasture and uh, see if there's any down limbs along the fence line. Because um, that's where we really need to check. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I didn't mean to scare you. Beautiful boys. Their feathers are starting to grow back. You can see their, their little fluffs are... Oops, I lost them. The fluffs are still there, but those feathers are starting to grow back in. They're such beautiful birds. Absolutely love, love seeing these birds in the yard. And I cannot wait to see more of them. It's going to be really, really nice. We don't really have to worry. Oh, what's going on? We don't have to worry about the fence line. Um, Abby and Zeke are in the small pasture. I kind of mentioned that earlier that they are in with um, the girl goats and Peter. So we're going to leave these two in this pasture for a little while. Um, as you can see, the grass is really tall. You can barely see Peter in there when he walks out. but. These two will eat down this grass over here, and then if we do get some more rain, they can go back in that shelter. I'm gonna go walk back in there, and um, actually, no, I'm not. We had to change the lock system on this. We had one of these really cool locks that was just on the top here, but somebody had broken it off, and I always get terrified. Um, as you can see, that metal is sitting right there on top of the other metal. And I am not about to touch that and get myself zapped. So, yep, that's not going to be me doing that. No way. Not at all. I'm even scared to touch the gate. Because if that's touching that and that's on a metal gate, that is not a good thing. So I'm not, I was going to lean on the gate. I am so glad. I am so glad I didn't lean on that gate because very good possibility that I would have gotten zapped. I don't know how all that stuff works, but I'm standing in a small puddle right now to top it off. So that is not happening. Not with me anyways. But I would like to know what that look back there looks like. 
All the girlies are over here. Hey, girls. Hi, babies. How are you guys doing? Huh? How are you guys doing? Oh, my pretty girls. You guys doing all right? Last night was kind of pain in the butt, huh? Yeah, I know. I know, it was not fun. We got mocha, latte. This one's mocha. That one's latte. Hazel. Um, peanut. Piper. And Ruby. All of them are doing really well. Well, you guys have a lot of grass you need to eat. So Abby and Zeke are going to be in here to help you guys, okay? All right? You don't have much to say. Bye, girls. How you doing, Peter? Are you enjoying your your new roommates? Huh? supposed to be on top of the plastic but it is not that's not cool jeez louise I can't even give my little Abby scratches oh there's a horse fly on her too these horse flies I tell you look at the size look at that they're, they're horrible Abby, you're looking so beautiful with your pretty red. She's darkening up again, you guys. She's not light like her mama. She's starting to get bright orange again. Looking so pretty. Hi. You're a pretty girl. If y'all haven't noticed by now, I'm kind of obsessed with Abby. <laughs> She's such a good girl, though. She's like... She is the sweetest cow ever. She's kind of like my, I don't know if you guys have been around since Peaches. We used to have a white highland cow and her name was Peaches. And um, I used to brush her and stuff like that. And she was my baby. But unfortunately, we had a really hard time getting her AI'd. And um, at that time, we did not have Zeke. And... We ended up making the decision of um, rehoming her. So, and also because we didn't have enough grass for her, so we had to rehome her. But that's it, guys. Everybody's doing really well. I mentioned that. And uh, thank you guys so much for all of your prayers. Everybody who's been paying attention and has reached out to us, they have worked. Hi. Hi. Well, again, thank you guys so much. And until next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you then. Bye, guys.